friend of mine asked me to find some verses in regard to procrastination, and I found quite a number of them. Now, of course, there's many other um, examples of, of uh, these kind of scriptures in, in God's Word, so if you know of any, feel free to post them in the comment section below. Just let it be known that King James Bible verses will be the only ones that will be approved. Judges 18, 9. And they said, Arise, that we may go up against them. For we have seen the land, and behold, it is very good. And are ye still? Be not slothful to go, and to enter to possess the land. Of course, God told them not to be discouraged. And this is when they took the promised land. Proverbs 12, 24. The hand of the diligent shall bear rule, but the slothful shall be under tribute. Of course, that means... Uh, the ones who do the work of the Lord will, will rule, but the slothful, you know, will be the ones that will be paying the debt, uh, which we'll see in an example of Christ's words uh, later down in this section of scriptures. Proverbs 12, 27, the slothful man, slothful man roasteth not that which he took in hunting, but the substance of a diligent man is precious. Proverbs 15, 19, the way of the slothful man is as an hedge of thorns, but the way of the righteous is made plain. So what that means is it's, you know, like trying to work your way through a bunch of weeds and, and uh, you know, prickers, as we call them, you know, when you're going through the, through the woods. But, you know, like the, the way of the righteous is like a nice hiking trail that's all cleared off. In Proverbs 18.9, he also that is slothful in his work is brother to him that is a great waster. Proverbs 19.24, a slothful man hideth his hand in his bosom and is not and will not so much as bring it to his mouth again. Proverbs 21.25, the desire of the slothful man killeth him, for his hands refuse to labor. Proverbs 22.13, the slothful man saith, there is a lion without, I shall be slain in the streets. Proverbs 24.30 I went by the field of the slothful and by the vineyard of the man void of understanding. We'll double click on that one and see what the rest of it says. And lo, it was all grown over with thorns and nettles had covered the face thereof and the stone wall thereof was broken down. Then I saw and considered it well. I looked upon it and received instruction. Yet a little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to sleep so shall thy poverty come as one that traveleth, and thy want as an armed man. As you know, you know, if you're traveling, you know, you're not making any money. So, uh, you're a vagabond, you're a wanderer, an armed man, you know, someone who's a desperate criminal, a, a desperado, as it's known in... Um, okay, so that was... Um, Proverbs 24, 30, uh, through the rest of the chapter. Proverbs 26, a slothful man saith, there was a lion in the way, a lion is in the streets. As the door turneth upon its hinges, so doth the slothful upon his bed. That's from Proverbs 26, 14. That's actually after the, the verse that we just read before that. And then the next verse after that is 26, 15, of course. The slothful... Uh, hideth his hand in his bosom and giveth it to and and it grieveth him to bring it again to his mouth matthew twenty five twenty six this is w what I was referring to earlier. His Lord answered and said unto him, Thou wicked and slothful servant, thou knowest that I reap where I sowed not and gather where I have not strawed. go back up here. In a better main manner of um, the hand of the diligent shall bear rule, but the slothful shall be under tribute. Okay, so now here once again, this is what I'm talking about. His Lord answered and said unto him, Thou wicked and slothful servant, thou knewest that I reaped where I sowed not, and gather where I have not strawed. We'll read the rest of the passage here in Matthew 25. 27 now thou oughtest therefore to have put my money to the exchangers and when then at my coming I should have received mine own with usury 
Take therefore the talent from him and give it to him which hath ten talents. For to every one that hath shall be given, and he shall have abundance. But to him that hath not shall be taken away even that which he hath. And cast ye the unprofitable servant into outer darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. And then in Romans 12, 11, Not slothful in business, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. That is how we, each of us should be in response to Christ's work. That ye be not slothful, but followers of them who, through faith and patience, inherit the promises. That's Hebrews 6:12. Now we'll carry on with a few more, this time about sleep. Now normally when sleep is mentioned, it's a positive thing. And if you find it in the Bible, it's a, a Proverbs 20, 13. Now some of these I might just actually read over again that I've already read. Forgive me for that. Love not sleep, lest thou come to poverty. Open thine eyes, and thou shalt be satisfied with bread. Proverbs 20, 13. Yes, we do already read Proverbs 24, 33. Get a little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to sleep. So shall thy poverty come as a man that traveleth, and thy want as an armed man. Now here we re we'll roll down through some positive verses about sleep. Maybe not necessarily all, but here's one from Daniel. Um, very interesting verses, I can find it here. It says, um, it regards everlasting life. There it is. Daniel 12, 2. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake some to everlasting life and some to shame and everlasting contempt. This is in regard to those who have never trusted the Lord Jesus Christ, never um, committed themselves unto his great sacrifice and his work, but have trusted in their own work. Proverbs 6.4, Give not sleep to thine eyes, nor slumber to thine eyelids. Proverbs 6.10, He had a little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to sleep. Now, as is also mentioned in Proverbs 24.33, which we've read a couple of times now. Isaiah 5.27, None shall be weary, nor stumble among them. None shall slumber, nor sleep. Neither shall the girdle of their loins be loosed, nor latchets of their shoes be broken. Um, Isaiah 56.10, His watchmen are blind, they are all ignorant, they are all dumb dogs, they cannot bark, sleeping, lying down, loving to slumber. This is, you know, the devil and his, his ilk. Um, we got also the Nahum 3.18, Thy shepherds slumber, O king of Assyria, thy nobles shall dwell in the dust, thy people is scattered upon the mountains, and no man gathereth them. Now, I know Assyria was who originally carried away the children of Israel, the ten tribes of Israel, uh, because of their slumbering, and they're not paying attention to God's word. And so that now is, um, he's talking to Assyria, and I'm not quite sure if that was after the time of the carrying away of the children of Israel, and, and God's going to release them, and, and now they're uh, giving prophecy against Assyria, I'm uh, guessing, but... Um, Romans 11:8. According as it is written, God hath given them the spirit. God hath given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear. Unto this day, that's uh, spoken of in Isaiah also, where it says that their ears became heavy, and they didn't want to listen to uh, the word of the little word anymore. Which actually we see in this day and age. Psalm 12:121:3. Speaking of God, he will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. And then Psalm 121, 4, the next verse, Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. Psalm 132, 4, I will not give sleep to mine eyes or slumber to mine eyelids. Proverbs 6, 4, I think we started with that one and we got into this section of slumber. Sluggard! is yet another verse, um, or a word. <laughs> and here's six references found for sluggard. Go to the ant, thou sluggard. Consider her ways and be wise. Proverbs 6, 9. How long will thou sleep, O sluggard? When wilt thou arise out of thy sleep? Proverbs 10, 26. As vinegar to teeth and as smoke to the eyes, so is the sluggard to them that send him. Proverbs 13, 4. The soul of the sluggard desireth and hath nothing. But the soul of the diligent shall be made fat. 
Proverbs 24. The sluggard will not plow by reason of the cold. Therefore shall he beg and harvest and have nothing. Proverbs 28.16. The sluggard is wiser in his own conceit than seven men that can render a reason. And finally, Ecclesiastes 9, and then one from the New Testament that sounds much like it. Ecclesiastes 9.10. Whatsoever thy hand findeth to do, do it with thy might, for there is no work, nor device, nor knowledge, nor wisdom in the grave, whither thou goest. And Jesus said that I must work the works of him that sent me while it is day. The night cometh when no man can work. Thanks for requesting that. Once again, if there's other scriptures that you know that you'd like um, to incorporate with um, notions of procrastination that God's Word has, please post them in the comment section below. Once again, please use the King James Bible when doing so.